Hey, this is Mary. Um, with my stuff all over my bed. Hey, um, so I was playing a game on uh, Thursday, I guess, with some children in the classroom, uh, some two, almost three-year-olds. And uh, this is a great game for uh, problem solving, visual memory, taking turns, uh, but it's uh, it, it's just a great uh, preschool game, um, and they enjoy playing it all the way through five and a half. Um, they get really good at it, and they'll beat you. And we call it concentration. Concentration. Um, it's also called mem the memory game, and you can play it with anything that comes in pairs. Um, uh, so this is the game we have. There's two cauliflowers, two cucumbers, two strawberries. Um, we have multiple sets of these. Um, with really young children, we just uh, have them match the pairs. You know, we put out one of each one and say, where's the other one of this one? But concentration is uh, kind of the more advanced version. So any, you could use playing cards, um, two of each, you know, two, uh, two kings, two queens. Um, most of ours are things that children recognize better. But anyway, so I wanted to show you how we play this and how you can play with your child and um, uh, the kind of progression that they go through in understanding the game. So I'm going to try to tilt the camera so you can see um, this flat place in front of me. And if it doesn't work, I'll do it again. Okay, so I'm tilting the camera. All right. Um, so I'm not going to get all of them out. Uh, so you, uh, so I'll put the cucumbers, cauliflower strawberries and lemons so usually maybe we start with about eight um, and then the older children can go up to like 20 of them so we usually I, I usually sh I show them what the things are the colors or the whatever we name them uh, cauliflower uh, they call these pickles usually uh, lemons and strawberries okay so we're gonna turn them over and we're going to mix them up. Mix, 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 mix. Okay. And then I lay them out in rows because it's important to be able to remember where they were because that's why it's called the memory game. Um, so the youngest person gets to go first. So that means you get to go first. So um, you get to turn over two. No more than two. I usually count one two up oh, not the same and we turn them back so they stay where they were if the child does this I say oh they have to stay where they were so we can find them again okay so now it's my turn um, and you can play with you know four people but um all right strawberry I remembered so I get to take these two okay now it's your turn all right uh, not the same. All right, put them back. Okay, now it's my turn. Up, oh, they're the same. All right, so now it's your turn. I remember, you remembered. All right, you get to keep these. And we hope the last two match. They do. All right, so I... You don't have to worry about winning and losing in the beginning. It doesn't really matter. Um, but let me show you what young children do in the beginning. And um, if you can keep playing with them to get through this point, it's really boring. <laughs> but it's best if they are allowed to figure this out on their own. So what a young child will do in the beginning is turn over the same two in every turn. So that's their turn. Up, oh, not the same. I take my turn. This is their turn. Not the same. So seriously, 12 times I'll turn over the same two. Not the same. Okay, so resist the temptation 
to point that out or to get frustrated because they will learn and the process of learning is valuable. So they're watching you remember and you can say, I remembered, I remembered that it was here, I remembered. Um, they will start to explore. So maybe they'll turn over this one again, but maybe they'll turn over this one. Not the same, you got the lemon and the cucumber. Um, and the other thing that young children will do is they won't watch your turn. And that's okay, again, um, it's better if they figure it out. So if you're talking during your turn, if you're talking and saying, I got the cauliflower and the strawberry, not the same, um, they will learn that part of the game is to watch your turn, but they won't know that. So, so avoid <laughs> the frustration of teaching them more effective ways to play and making a big deal out of winning because the point is for them to learn the problem solving steps and learning to concentrate, which is the name of the game. Um, so, um, sorry, I'm gonna turn it up a little bit more. Uh, so the other thing that we use this for is uh, teaching, reinforcing concepts. So, I, you know, put this in the back of your head. So if we are uh, uh, pairs of things, um, we do it with rhyming words. So, sorry. Um, so if, if we're uh, talking about rhyming words, if I, I'll have two cards that have two pictures that rhyme, crown and clown. And so again, I've we go through and name them all. Clown rhymes with crown. Uh, hat rhymes with cat. Uh, fish rhymes with dish. These are the pictures. We turn them over, we mix them up, and so then, then the matching is matching two things that rhyme. Oh, you got dish, dish, and crown. Ah, oh, they don't rhyme. They don't sound the same. They don't end the same. Oh, you got dish and fish. Dish and fish rhyme. They sound the same. So that's your pair. Um, you could do it with math facts. You could do it with multiplication. Um, you know, flashcards. Four times three on one card and 12 on the other card. Okay, we're looking for, obviously not for preschool. Um, we're looking for what matches four times three. 12. Yeah, they go together. They match. They're a pair. Um, obviously, color. And, and again, with really young children, um, just reinforcing the names of the colors because obviously unless they're colorblind they can see the colors but any so any you know concept that you want to reinforce you can play the memory game the concentration game with it and it's fun because it's a game and when they get older it's fun because you know sometimes they will win um and that will be fun or they'll play better than they did before so that is um a very popular game that all ages play at Mary School. Thanks for watching.